what's going on beautiful people? This is Stefan with the Path to Abundance together with my friend Andy from the Way of Achievement and today we have a very sensitive and important topic for you when you are on your journey in personal growth which is inspiration versus force. Basically you know like in our the mainstream condition and narrative right now is like work hard you know nine to five you have to work if you're not working then like you're doing something wrong you know like you have to work blah 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 this is kind of like this force paradigm like you always have to do something and the tendency for us is to feel like for example me the last two days it's like tuesday or something i didn't do anything because the weekend was super busy you know like we were doing all these events and stuff and so i was like so exhausted and i just decided not to do anything right and then like all these thoughts came up like i should be doing something i have to do this i have to make videos i have to read i have to do all this stuff and if i don't do this stuff then i'm not good enough then i'm not a good person and all this guilt and shame you know and what i've come to realize and stefan as well is that this is complete nonsense and this is just social conditioning and that if we actually this also kills inspiration then we're always in this like forced paradigm where uh we have to force ourselves to do things and we're not really inspired and we're not living our life purpose but if we take this time off and we just chill and relax then and we take that time for ourselves that inspiration will naturally come back and will our output will be really high quality <coughs> inspired um, and it will really change the world and be great work you know yes and what i realized also as, as andy is that when you take the time to take take time off when you don't feel like doing anything you will be 10x more productive when you start over two or three days from now and uh, do it in a relaxed position. So I want to share my personal story with you that happened about three or four days ago. <coughs> and uh, what happened there specifically was I was hanging out with a few friends. I used to call my friends back then, so I used to resonate with them very well. But now, since about like two, three years, I'm on my journey on personal growth and I eventually want to become self-employed. I just know that I want to be coaching. That's what my true mission is and what I want, what, what I can give best back to society. And so with that being said, um, there's um, a small gap uh, that uh, grew bigger and bigger when the time uh, went on, went by. and. Um, because I was developing myself, I was reading personal growth content, I was learning every single day, but they didn't, which is okay, it's not a judgment, it's just um, how things are. But then this friend of mine who is having a nine to five job, um, he just heavily projected his feelings of, I don't know, it, um, it was just very painful for me because he said to me, well, you said this five years ago that you want to, uh, um, that you want to do and start um, your your dream business and this kind of stuff and he's he said to me things like uh, along the line of you will never be successful you will not make it and um, I just realized that I can't be with these people anymore so <clears throat> it's it's this is a kind of a difficult situation but sometimes you have to say okay uh, goodbye to old friends and people will just automatically fall out of your life this is just how it works this is how it is and um, but getting back to the original topic, I felt so in, so much in pain that it was not um, possible for me to, to do the work because I was blocked. I was emotionally blocked and uh, couldn't do any, any um, high level stuff, any creative stuff. I was unable to create and that's when I realized I needed to uh, feel what's going on inside, let it be there. And, and heal it before I can start creating again. So this time, this day, Andy and me, Andy and I, we are taking a day off. We've just been to Freiburg to the city center, enjoyed some delicious food, and now we are in nature, the way nature meant meant it to be. <laughs> so this is this is what we do today to to recover and relax and, and get back to it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Yeah. The inspiration comes when you relax and take it easy. You know. Your muscles, if you go to the gym every single day, like you're gonna destroy your body, you know? But if you, your muscles grow when you take your day off, and inspiration only comes when you relax. Like Newton came up with the idea of gravity when he was in nature and he was just chilling and he saw an apple fall from the tree, you know? Like he wasn't like sitting in his office like, I have to find the theory. I have to, what is the theory now, 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 please, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's like, no, you know, like it's just you take time off. And that's when genius emerges and that's when creativity comes through, you know. 
And what Stefan said about like healing is key as well. Like if you have all this emotional baggage that is holding you back, then it's hard to get <clears throat> inspired. You know, if you're preoccupied with your inner demons and there's this thing EFT tapping that you can yeah. do that I think uh, we both recently discovered exactly. that's very helpful for any issue you have or emotion or even like physical ailment, headache even, and some illnesses. Like pretty much you can try it on anything is what the founder of it says. And then you can tap and release the issues and then they no longer hold you back. And then you can also get more inspired naturally. Can you hold this for a second? My arm is falling asleep. <laughs> if you want to, you can uh, share something about EFT as well, you know? Um, yeah, EFT is what I um, discovered through Andy because uh, Andy, um, Andy has, <laughs> has been doing it for a while. He showed it to me, I think, two or three days back. And uh, I experienced uh, the power of EFT the last couple of, like, two, three days when I had these issues, when I had these, these, this pain coming up and um, uh, from projections of other people who are well-intentioned, but they don't, you know, they are not aware of what they're doing, actually. Um, for example, my parents, uh, they never learned how to heal their emotional uh, baggage or their emotional blocks or traumas. So they pass it on um, to their kids, to their children, without being aware of it. So. Um, when you do EFT, you just let it be there. You feel into it. You feel into the pain. You, you uh, recall what was going on in this uh, situation, and um, you you just tap the meridian points in your body, <clears throat> and then it gradually dissolves. It might be that it dissolves in just one session, in a couple of minutes, or it might be that it depends on how, how deep the, the issue goes or the trauma goes that you have to do it a few couple of sessions till it it dissolves completely but you will without a doubt that's what I experienced I experienced a, a big decrease um, of, of the emotional issue and with that um, yeah you can you can solve it all together so EFT is, is a wonderful a wonderful tool for that I think the common theme we can see here is that um, inspiration is not about adding it's about subtracting it's about removing it's about yes yeah, not standing in our own way and how can we do that eft is one example but also having a meditation practice spending time in nature you know we both do the wim hof method a lot you know all these kind of things you can do um visualizing you know like having a morning routine and all the you can do a bunch of things really to come into natural inspiration and nature is another huge one like also work walking barefoot and just detaching technology also like this phone you know like not always checking the phone switching it off a lot you know just putting away for a couple of hours just sitting with yourself and not escaping you know yourself you know just being there with yourself and then that's the moment where you can get inspiration which comes from the quantum field inspiration comes from something else you know so yeah there's that's uh that brings me to a um when you think about the German language, the German language is sometimes very precise. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the German language is sometimes very precise. Uh, when you think about the word Einfall, Einfall, it's it's a word that's coming, like tells you exactly where this inspiration is coming from. It's coming from outside of you, into your conscious brain, into your conscious mind. So there must be something, I believe, in the same way as, as Andy just told you, that uh, this is coming from the quantum field. You're getting inspired by attuning to frequencies and energies that are in the quantum field or in the infinite potential and you're just downloading information to so to speak and these information give you uh, the power to act with intention on intention and um, yeah some people say for example mozart and, and goethe uh, beethoven they had these divine moments inspirations uh, where the muse was coming to to visit them and then they uh, were just in flow and they composed wonderful beautiful music and i think that's what we can all learn from what we can all all do we can all tap into this infinite potential we just have to use it and this is inspiration versus uh, desperation so to say <laughs> power versus force you know? power versus force exactly i think that's it pretty much isn't it do, it do is. you have anything you want to no say? nothing nothing else really so, um, well, awesome <laughs> so if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up down below uh, subscribe to our channels and um, hit the bell for notifications so you will be informed about any new stuff that's coming up. Uh, anything else you want to add, Annie? Uh, wishing you much success, abundance, peace and love and you're limitless, my friend. Peace. <laughs>